so pretty. I've got a hot dog on the bait feeder. So these might be really small bluegill, small baby crappie, could be um, baby perch. If it, it was a, if, a, if it was a juvenile bass, it probably would have thumped it by now. And if it was a pickerel, there would have been um, probably teeth marks on the tail. So I just gotta chill a little bit. And I'm pretty sure the bait feeder's going out because I'm uh, the sinker's on a on some veg and there's a little bit of wind pulling. Yeah, I can feel something nibbling on this. Man, I can't believe nobody else is out. It's 46 degrees, no, like two mile an hour wind. Overcast, it's just, it's freaking beautiful. First fish of the year. What the heck is that? Little pick. The slime dart. Hello, my friend. Pickle are super feisty, these little guys. But you know what? I don't, I don't want to get all slimed up, dude. I guess it's unavoidable. And a crappie on the troll. It actually looks pretty decent. And you know what they say about crappie. If there's one, there's more. His eyes look a little messed up. See you, bud. So let me throw the gulp minnow back over here a little bit. So what I'm what I'm doing right now is basically trying to have my cake and eat it too. I'm trying to find a spot where there's some panfish biting and I could test out um, the catfish, the catfish rod and, and lure, which basically is circle hook and I've been doing hot dogs, but that's because yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. They had salted cod, which I don't know if it catches catfish, but it's about as stinky as you can get. So I, I kind of want to find a spot where I can reliably catch some small stuff just to keep myself busy and soak a, a cut bait a little bit longer and usually when you find a crappie you find a bunch more same deal with perch and bluegill um, I'll give this a try Let's see if I can get another one to bite then I might hang out here I usually have more luck a couple hundred feet that way in March April we'll see
Ah, bluegill. Cool. Yeah, so I, I downsized the um the lower a little bit to a trout magnet. Well, first fishing trip of the year. I've been on the water. Uh, 6.40. Less than three hours. I only caught five fish, but I've caught five fish. So I'm cool with that. Crappie on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's pretty. God, it's such a pretty fish. When I first started getting into fishing five years ago, um, I had no idea what these were, but I, I used to love these speckled patterns. He's a small guy. Have fun. Got the, I don't know, it's just something really excites me about catching crappie. I want to face this way because that's where I see the action. See that right, right there? All right, something's on. They are crappie. I'm on a school and the school started eating. So they just waited for something like the, um, you know, the, the sun, I'm not going to say the sun come out, but the, maybe the water to warm up to a certain temperature. Nice guy. See ya. All right, so I'm just gonna sit here and try to catch some crappie. I think I'm in a, not the best position because I'm uh, kind of far away from all the action that I'm seeing. And I'm just gonna take a second to clean up my presentation a little bit. Because when the, I don't know if you noticed, but the, um, the bait was, completely um I'm making an L shape what the hell is that I've caught one of these here before and I don't actually know what it is it's like some creek chub or something or shad no idea so pretty If you guys have any idea what it is, let me know.